For those who don't know, uh, about two years ago with Morristown, we were trying to expand our influence. And I went around trying to form separate groups, chapters, satellite organizations. And I went all over northern New Jersey. I spoke to thousands of people in small groups and formed different groups. One of the groups we formed was down in Scotch Plains family. And I was down there at their initial meeting. There were about 90 people in the room. And I was talking to them the way I'm talking to you now, trying to motivate them, trying to tell them that we have to do something. And during the speech, who comes marching in but Congressman Lance. And uh, Congressman Lance, welcome, please, have a seat. There was a table right here, and he sat down. And as I get to the point where I was trying to tell people how you must tell your representatives how you feel, I said, let's not do this in the third person. Our congressman is right here. Let me address him directly. And I said, Congressman Lance, you need to know what bothers us. You need to know what we expect of you. And we went, I went through a litany of fiscal responsibility and limited government. And I was going on and on. And I said, wait, let me stop. Let's put the political rhetoric aside for a minute. Congressman, let me talk to you as a father, as a grandfather, and a guy who lives just up the road. Of all the reasons we elected you as our congressman to be our representative, one thing supersedes everything else, and it wraps it all up in a nutshell. Congressman, we elected you to be the steward of the inheritance of my children and my grandchildren. So, Congressman, with all the other stuff aside, when you vote, and we watch your vote, if everything you do is meant to make sure that my children and grandchildren have a greater America than I have, that they can receive what I received from my grandparents and my parents, and if you vote in that way, Congressman, you will have no better supporter than me and the 90 people in this room. We will support you financially, we will have your back, and we will work for you. But on the flip side, Congressman Williams, if your votes tend to ruin and spend the inheritance of my kids and make their life less than I have, then, Congressman, I will be your worst nightmare. Now, if you told me a few years ago that one day I would be standing in a room of 90 to 100 people speaking to my congressman like that, I would have told you that you were crazy.